We're here in Cadiz, Spain and Andalusia. It's one of the oldest cities in Western Europe, founded in 1100 BC by the Phoenicians. We're here to find out what there is to eat, what there is to do, and if it's worth visiting while you're in Spain. Aside from just the history, we explore all the food, sights, and the Carnival in Cadiz. First up, we hit up the most iconic beach in all of Cadiz, La Caleta. We got there early in the morning and it was relatively calm with just a few sunbathers setting up their chairs. But instead of relaxing on the beach, we opted to walk all the way out to the Castillo de San Sebastián. Here you get some fantastic views of the city and it's just great being able to be out on the ocean. After La Caleta, we were hungry and wanted to go to one of the best places for food in all of Cari. So we strolled back through the old fisherman's neighborhood to the central market. This market has been around in some form since the 1890s, with seemingly endless stands selling all sorts of seafood, including the world famous atun rojo, or red tuna. It's definitely a sight to see in Cadiz. After checking out almost all the stands in the market, we opted for just a quick bite of ensaladilla ruso con pulpo and seafood croquetas, which were absolutely delicious. But don't worry, we'll be back later in the video to try the world famous red tuna from Cadi and another more, mm, let's just say adventurous snack. So make sure to keep watching to see that. After satisfying our appetite, we headed to one of the most historic bars in all of Cadiz, Taberna La Manzanilla. They're known for their famous sherry wine that has been aged in these barrels that have been in use for over 200 years. The same barrels have been used the whole time and new wine is just continuously added so all the flavors and all the history is mixed in the sherry you're drinking today, which was wonderfully explained in full detail about each one of the sherries. They can also do the explanations in English too if you are curious. Estos son los símbolos de los vinos, ¿vale? Ah, que vais vale. a ir tomando. Este es el primero que es manzanilla, ¿vale? M ya F mm -hmm. de fina y manzanilla madura, que es madura. una M, ¿vale? ¿vale? Vale. Este digamos es el vino básico, el más conocido, el más importante vale. de, de aquí de la taberna, ¿vale? Es el nombre del bar, que es la manzanilla. Sí. Ah, sí, 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 ah, vale, sí. Vale, vale. Vale. Muchas gracias. gracias. This one's really good. It's definitely dry, but also like, you get like little hints of the fruit in there, but really good. Try the next one. The Manzanilla Madura. Oh, not quite as dry, but definitely like, like the taste. It's really light and smooth too. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. And then cherry style. Oh, this one's strong. <laughs> um, but it's good. I have to go strong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's strong. So, okay. we battle. Smells like juice. Yes. It's good, I see why it's the semi dulce, semi sweet. It's definitely sweet compared to all the other ones. It tastes like almost like grape juice, but it's really good with a little kick. 
grape juice with a little kick. Okay, this is like a, I feel like an after dinner liqueur. It's very sweet. It's like syrupy almost. It's really good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you shouldn't have anything. I don't think after this. And it's, it's good. Except we have mm -hmm. the vermouth. All right, we just finished up at Taberna La Montanilla. They had a ton of sherry as well as a vermouth to finish and a great explanation for anyone. They can do it in English or Spanish. Just make sure to check out when their hours are because they do close from certain times, for example, for siesta. But make sure to visit Taberna La Montanilla when you're in Cadiz. Next up was a stroll through Jardines de Alameda Apodaca, along the water to relax after all that cherry. The flowers were in full bloom, and the breeze coming off the Atlantic gave a refreshing break from that hot Andalusian sun. The Jardines de Alameda Apodaca are basically connected to the Parque Genoves along the old wall that protected the city from both the ocean and invaders. We always find it incredible to see this history still alive in cities today, and it is something we absolutely love about travel in Spain. One of, if not the most famous building in the city was our next stop, the Cadiz Cathedral. And even though we're not huge cathedral people when traveling, we are absolute suckers for views, and you can go up to the top of this one. The cathedral itself, while impressive like others in Spain, also boasts a creepy crypt that lies beneath the pulpit and contains the body of Saint Victoria from the 4th century and a vial of her blood that sits at her feet. If you're visiting the cathedral and don't mind a twisting ramp up to the top, you have to pay an extra 3 euros to go up the tower. The final two flights of stairs are the only really narrow part to climb. But the views over Cadiz are absolutely worth it. The white, densely built city contrasting with the blue skies in turquoise water is downright stunning and rivals the views you will find in almost any other city in Spain. Make sure to soak up the views of Cadiz while up there and remember that you are looking over the oldest continuously inhabited city in all of Western Europe. Not something you'll just find any old place. But the history of Cadiz isn't finished there. Tucked away in the nearby neighborhood is a partially excavated Roman theater that was built in the first century BC. It was abandoned and built over for centuries before becoming rediscovered in just 1980. While today you can see only part of it since their house is built over the other half, the Roman theater in Cadiz could hold over 10,000 spectators and is one of the largest built in the entire Roman Empire. Now we visited Cadiz in June and just happened to get really lucky because it was during their famous Carnival celebration. Usually it's held in February, but it was delayed this year because of COVID. The Carnival of Cadiz dates back to the late 16th century and is most famous for its groups that dress up in costumes and perform comedic songs. I'm 
While the next morning came with a small headache, it also came with a tour of the 18th century Torre Tavira, the highest point in the old town of Cadiz. This tower was absolutely vital to Cadiz becoming a leading international shipping port as it helped direct ships. Now, while you can just go up to the top for the views, we did the camera obscura tour for part of the Torre Tavira, where you get a tour of modern and historical Cadi in real time via the reflected images through the lens. It's a really interesting and detailed view of the city from above, if you have time for it. Now it was time to relax on the beach a little bit. So we went to the Playa de Santa Maria del Mar, which is the closest beach aside from La Caleta that we visited yesterday. We just walked there and decided to soak up the sun for a little bit before celebrating Carnaval some more.
abro yo, abre siempre el corazón, tirimum, 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 y en carnaval, búscate, corre ya, un plumero y antifaz, tirimum, For our last morning, we started off with a walk to the Castilla de Santa Catalina, which was built in the 17th century to protect the city of Cari. You can enter for free and wander around on your own enjoying the historic fortress and the views of Cari and the Atlantic Ocean. But before we left Cadiz, there was one last thing to do. It was head back to the market to have some food that Cadiz is famous for. We decided to get two things, ortiguillas and atun rojo. See you now. What does it taste like? Actually, pretty good. It tastes a little fishy. Mm -hmm. I can taste like the the ocean in it, but much better than I actually thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's good. And now for Cadiz's famous red tuna. So I'm gonna try some red tuna. here at La Caleta Beach just to bid a farewell to Cadiz. It's been a great trip here. It's definitely a place you should visit especially if you're in Andalusia or if you're in Spain and want to visit a place with excellent seafood as well as great history. So it's a place you should visit. If you're here check out our other videos about exploring Spain as a local and living abroad as an American. We'll see you at the other videos. Bye!